Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Teresa T for Two. I just wanted to share with you my wax empties for the months of January and February. Not a whole lot. Uh, I do melt a lot, but it's amongst different bags, so I'm not really emptying things real, real quick. But this is what I have emptied so far, and I'm going to try really hard not to clear my throat and cough too much. I don't know if it's allergies or I'm trying to get sick. Um, and then also real quick, I, I wanted to thank a lot of you that have left me messages or personally reached out to me um, to give me encouragement. On my last video, I mentioned that I've been going through some things and a couple of you guys already do know the things that I've been dealing with. And I don't mind telling you guys because I really do feel like you guys are my friends. So, um, yeah, it's not like top secret information. <laughs> But basically, um, I was recently laid off my job. This August would have been 17 years that I've been with this company. And yeah, it's a little scary. I knew our company had, has kind of had troubles for the last few years. They just did a layoff back in November. So it's like me and the other people that were laid off at the same time, it's like we weren't totally shocked. But of course, you are shocked when it's you. <laughs> And the people that they were laying off, it seemed to be people like myself that have been there, you know, 17 years plus. You know, some were supervisors that have been there 20 years plus. So they did stress to us that it is not performance related, which I already knew that. Um, so it did seem like they're kind of, you know, chopping off the more expensive people, if you will. So, you know, it is pretty scary because I am single and I have a mortgage. So, <clears throat> I've been having some anxiety, <laughs> to say the least. Um, and then also, I have a health condition that requires regular monitoring uh, by my oncologist. And as of the end of March, I do not have health insurance. So, I'm trying to get into my oncologist this month and get things taken care of that I hopefully can get taken care of now. And then by the time my next um, you know, follow-ups are or uh, do maybe I will have a job by then and have health insurance again so yeah and you know I know I'm not the first person to ever be laid off this is actually my first time being laid off from a job so it is like I said kind of scary but um, again thank you guys for just being encouraging and just being so sweet I really appreciate every single one of you and one of my um, best friends took me out on a little day trip today if you've ever heard of the peaches to beaches yard sale um it's really fun she took me on that today and i found some really cool super cheap deals um didn't buy a lot obviously but bought a few things that were like awesome deals so anyway sorry for all the rambling but you know again thank you guys so so much um the encouragement means the world to me and then let me go ahead and start with my empties. We'll start with the candles. This first one, I got this one from Walmart. And it was like $7.47. It's Berry Stroop Waffle from the Candle Cottage. And it appears to be a paraffin wax candle. It looks like it's all paraffin wax. And it has a little screw off lid. Cute mason jar that I'm totally going to be repurposing. But it burnt all the way down. The wick did not travel. It just, I don't think it was really centered to start with, but it, it burnt fine. And it didn't seem to get too close to the glass or anything like that. So it totally burnt fine. The strength and throw on this was, in my bedroom, it was a good seven. In the living room, it kind of got lost. I mean, you could smell it, but you know, you had to be kind of close to it to smell it. But I was really impressed with the scent. I was kind of hoping that it would smell similar to this berry waffle cone here. Um, or I was hoping that it would be a dupe, you know. And it's not a dupe, but it, it smells similar, but not exactly. But I do like this scent, and I would definitely purchase this again. Um, it is a very nice, berry more close to the strawberry like it shows in the label. So it's like a strawberry waffle. Um, basically is what it smelled like to me and I did enjoy it and I would definitely repurchase it and it took a long time to burn down so you really get your money's worth on this one I think on the label it even said it's a 12 and a half ounce candle and I think it even says long burning premium wax and they're telling the truth that took forever to burn down okay the next candle that I got through is Yankee Candles Christmas Wish I got it at Home Goods for $12.99 and 
this is the large jar, one wick. And it burnt all the way down. And these like, you'll see this on a couple of my Yankee candles, this like paraffin ribbon film that leaves around the glass, that tends to happen with some of my light colored wax. But you know, it's still burnt down a fine and it's a really nice scent. It's supposed to be like sugar cookies and pine, but I don't really pick up a whole lot of the pine. Um, in the living room, you really couldn't smell this at all. It was very light, so I had to mostly burn this in the bedroom. And even in the bedroom, it was probably only like a five or a six. So I was kind of hoping that this would have been stronger and that more of the pine would come out. But it's still a really nice sugar cookie scent. And I have another one of these and I will uh, burn it and enjoy it still. But I do wish it was a little stronger and more of the pine would come out. Okay, next I did this one wick from Bath & Body Works in Berry Waffle Cone. This was an online exclusive only candle and I think I got this when they had the deal where they were like $5.95 each or something like that. It was definitely a sale. And I bought like six of these. And it is the seven ounce one wick and there are the scent notes. And these scent notes are pretty much the same as the Waffle Cone three wick candle that came back out recently. So it's the same notes, but I will tell you, I was kind of hoping since, you know, the one that came out recently, they're just calling that waffle cone. This one actually says berry waffle cone. So I was hoping that this would be like the original berry waffle cone that actually has more berry in it. And it, this, this does appear to be that same candle to me. I actually do have one of the um, purple ribbed glass berry waffle cones from like a year or two ago. I got it a few months ago on Mercari and I compared it to this one and they do smell the same. You actually do pick up more berry unlike the regular waffle cone. While I love that scent, I always wish that there was more berry in it. So I'm glad to have this and I have backups of this. So I'm really glad to, to have that. And I'd like to see them do this exact one in a three wick when they bring it back out again. Soon, hopefully. <laughs> So the next candle I got through is this medium jar, 14 and a half ounce Yankee Candle Soft Blanket. And I just think the teddy bear on the label is so cute. Love it. And see the paraffin ribbon film again. <laughs> but yeah, this was a great scent. It, it's sort of like a, it does. It reminds you of a, a blanket just coming out of the dryer. So it's like just a hint of a laundry scent. And then another note that I pick up in this is like a, a sweet tobacco scent. That's what I get from it. It's just a very comforting, cozy scent. I absolutely love this. I burn it in the bedroom. And I would say I get a good six or seven off of this in my bedroom. And uh, the wick kind of petered out. I kind of interrupted the momentum. You know, when candles get this far down, you kind of have to leave them lit and let them finish their life out. I end up having to blow it out and then so I never could get the wick to lit, you know, stay lit because it had already kind of met the wick clip. So I did put this on my warmer and melt the rest of this wax and got the rest of the scent out that way. And it was super strong. It was like an eight or nine on the melter and like I said, a good seven in the bedroom while burning. So I really do love that candle and I will always repurchase it as long as they have it available. Next candle I sort of got through. <laughs> This is Bath & Body Works Campfire Donut 3 Wick. I absolutely love this scent. It is the most authentic fried donut with powdered sugar scent ever, in my opinion. I love it. But I keep forgetting these ones that I have, I have like two more. I got them from 2017. And I keep forgetting that these, for some reason, do not burn well. They get like, they have Peony Wick Syndrome from the first burn. And I kind of forgot, so yeah, I've been dealing with Peony Wick Syndrome the whole way down. And about here's all I could really get it to. So I will be putting this either in my candle crock or on my melter to finish getting the rest of the scent out. And then the other campfire donuts that I have will be chopped and melted in my wax warmers. So yeah, I just kind of forgot about how, th how these burn. <laughs> okay, and then the last candle that I got through is Yankee Candle Peeps Marshmallow Chicks. And I wanna show you the date on this one. Hopefully I won't drop it. <laughs> 2017. 
Okay, you see that number that starts with a 14? That means this candle was poured in 2014. And I have heard people say that Yankee candles that were poured in 2016 and prior are actually like nice and strong, unlike the newer ones that don't you know seem to have much scent. And I do tend to believe that because this one was super strong, so strong, and it's the most sweetest buttery vanilla scent ever. I love this scent so much. Only problem is, as you can see, it looks all weird because I did have to put it in the candle crock. It did not want to burn for nothing. It would not pull out. I have an Illumilid that's very closed in even. That did not help me create a wax pool. It just would never you know, pull out. And, it, and I would have this thing burning for hours and hours. Uh, but when it was burning, it was throwing. So, you know, it was hard to be mad at it. So I did go ahead and give up about down here, as you can see, and I put it in the candle crock. And I think I got like a whole nother like week or so of scent out of this by just melting it in the candle crock. And it was even stronger. I'd say, well, burning in my living room, it was probably like a good seven or eight. And melting in the candle crock, it was like a nine out of 10. It was really strong. And that, like I said, just a nice sweet vanilla buttery scent i like this better than the peeps in the uh, pink wax you know the pink candle that came out last year i like this version much better so that was good and i do have another one of these and i will just you know probably crock it from the get-go <laughs> i'll just put in the candle crock from the start and i will enjoy it because it is a nice scent okay now let's go on to wax melts and we will do let's do bags first these first two items came from a random act of kindness that I received from Danny, from Danny XO21. She has a YouTube channel here by that name. Check her out, she's awesome. And the first item was this Destination Soap. I forgot that Destination Wax does soap. And this was in Fraser Fur, and it was really nice. It felt great on my skin, lathered nice, and it was like a like a sweet fur, you know, sweet Fraser scent, and I really enjoyed it. And I would I would buy this again. I would definitely buy that soap again. Okay, and then from Destination Wax, this is Rosewater Lemonade. And it was like two of those real pretty squares that she does with the design on the top. This was a lovely scent and very strong. I did one whole cube in my deep dish warmer from my living room. And I'm not kidding, that one cube scented my entire house. I could smell it all the way from the living room into the bedrooms as if I was melting it in the bedroom. It was so strong and just a lovely powdery rose scent and the lemonade is like in the background. It's not too overpowering. And yeah, just a beautiful powdery rose with a hint of lemon scent. This was really, really pretty and I enjoyed this very much. Thank you so much, Danny. That was really, really nice. I enjoyed that. Okay, I also finished my bag of Rainbow Melts Spider Cider. And I think this is one of Rainbow Melt's most popular scents. And it is like a delicious cider lane, only even more juicier and caramel and just, oh, so good. And they were pumpkin shapes. This is also super strong. I cut the pumpkin shapes in half and that was enough to scent like my whole living room and down the hall. Super strong. I love Rainbow Melts. She was the second vendor that I ever purchased from, and I've loved her ever since. And her wax lasts. I've seen people melting her stuff two and three years old and still getting good performance. So I definitely like to stock up on Rainbow Melts. Highly recommend her wax. Okay, and then I melted a shape from Old Crooked Trail Scents and Coven's Party. There's the scent notes. And her wax appears to be paraffin and with a lot of like sparkle and bling on it. <laughs> and I mostly from this got the cupcakes at Tiffany's and the waffle cone. That's primarily what I got and it was very nice. Nice bakery scent. Pretty strong too. I'd say a good 7 or 8 out of 10 in my living room. And um, yeah, I would definitely purchase this scent again. I really enjoyed it. Okay, then I did um, a leaf. This was a leaf shape from Vintage Chic Scents in Haddonfield, which is a strawberry with a slightly smoky note to it. 
And this has become one of my most favorite scents from Vintage Chic Scents. I love all of her strawberry anyway. And this with that slightly smoky, you know, no undernote, undertone to it was so good. I really enjoyed this. And it was pretty strong too. In my living room, a good solid seven, um, maybe eight out of 10. It was pretty strong. And I really like it. And I would definitely repurchase that. I really did enjoy it. Okay, then I got, and I can't remember if I got this from <clears throat> Christy Scent Junkie 03 or from Danny. I can't remember who, who gave this to me, but it was a sample of Super Tarts and Morning Monster. I had never tried this scent before, and this was really good. It's like a, a coffee, bakery, and maybe like a cheesecake note in there. It was lovely. I really enjoyed this. I did it in the living room, and it was a good like 8 out of 10 and it lasted a good long time in my warmer. So I would definitely get this in a clamshell. I enjoyed that, really good. You know, I like my bakery scents. Okay, then from Vintage Chic Scents, I finished off my rows of Cookie Monsters, Cookie Monster Cafe, which is Cookie Monster, just like a baked cookie scent with, and then the cafe part is strawberry. And again, I love Kirby strawberry and you see the pour date on that? This was so nice and strong. Vintage Chic Scents wax just gets better with age. This was incredibly strong. It was a good eight out of 10 in my living room and just likes that a nice cookie scent with that strawberry of hers that I love so much. It's like a creamy slash fresh pick strawberry. I love her strawberry and I would definitely purchase this again. Um, and again, Vintage Chic Scents, her wax is the same way. I've seen people melting her stuff three and four years out and still getting a good throw off of it. So I don't mind stocking up on VCS as well. Okay, let's do clamshells. This uh, breaks my heart. Every time I go through a clam, I need to start slowing down because I only have two clams of this left. This is my absolute favorite Scentsy scent. And this is sweet plum pastry. This is the most perfect bakery scent ever. You definitely get like that baked fruit and pastry scent. It is so good. So good. Yeah, you can still smell it in the clamshell. This is just the most delicious scent to me. And I'm hoping they will bring it back because you see it was a bring back my bar. So it's currently not in circulation, but if it comes back again, I'm definitely joining the Scentsy Club and loading this baby up so I can get it forever. So I hope they bring this back soon because I need more. <laughs> yeah, the last two clams are gonna be in like hoard mode and not wanna milk them. Okay, I finished my Sensationals Pink Velvet. This is the last one that I had. Love this scent, and I'm glad to say that I have found its twin, which is the new sensational scent out for the spring called Unicorn Cake. It smells just like this to me. Um, it is very fruity, um, sugary. You do get the vanilla, you get a hint of lemon. I really like this. I've compared it, it's not a dupe, but I have compared it to Yankee Candle um, Rainbow Cookie, just so you can kind of get an idea of kind of the same scent notes, but this is not a dupe for that candle. They just smell similar. I do love this and I have several unicorn cakes, so I'm glad to have it back in my life because I really do like that scent. I do, I do. Okay, next, this one was from Better Homes and Gardens um, and I get this in Sensational at Walmart. This one was an apple cookie crunch and this was okay. I probably would not repurchase this one again. I enjoyed it while I had it, but the bakery note in this is sort of strange. It's a strange undertone to it. It's almost like, you know, it's not a cookie, but it's almost like maybe like an oatmeal undertone, but it's just kind of odd, um, like a baked apple. It's it's okay, but it's just it was just it had that weird undertone to me, so I probably would not per repurchase that particular scent again. Okay, and the next claim that I finished is from Sensationals. And it's Beach Please. This is also one of the new ones out for spring. I really like this. It is perfumey and I do have to be careful with perfumey scents because they can give me a headache if I'm not careful. So I have to, you know, use this sparingly because it is strong. All of the Sensationals and Better Homes and Gardens wax, I get a good like 8 out of 10 throw. Sometimes 9 or 10 out of throw. <laughs> 9, yeah, 9 out of 10 throw. Um, so yeah, one 
cube is pretty much all you need of most of these. And this, like I said before, when you if you watched my haul, this reminds me so much of a perfume that I wore in the 90s. I cannot remember the name of it, but it advertised that you smell like you just came from the beach. And this does smell like that. You definitely get like a, you know, the, I don't want to say salty sea air because you don't get that, but it's almost like the same scent notes that you would get if you were breathing in the, you know, breeze at the beach. And then that slight perfumey note. I mean, it does, you sniff it and it does kind of take you to the beach. That smells so good. I really like this and I would definitely repurchase this. It is so good. I love it. And I wasn't thinking that I would love it that much, but I do. Okay, also new for spring at Walmart is Sensational Pacific Coast Highway. And this one, I mostly got a candy scent and a soapy scent. That's what I got from this. It was so weird. <laughs> it's a unique scent. I will give it that. Yeah, it's just, it's weird. I ended up finishing, uh, I did like one cube in the living room and decided it would be better as a bathroom scent. So I finished the rest of it off in the bathroom. And it is a nice bathroom scent. Um, I'm kind of still deciding if I would repurchase this again or not. Uh, I didn't hate it, but it wasn't my favorite. But yeah, it was, it was a good bathroom scent. So there's that. Okay, then I did one milk cup in Sugar Frost Christmas. This was on clearance with Yankee Candle. And if I would have known how good this is, how good it smells, I would have definitely picked up more. It smells so good. If you have ever smelled Bath and Body Works Vanilla Snowflake, this smells like that to me. And then just with a slight hint of like a raspberry jam, but this smells so much like Bath and Body Works Vanilla Snowflake. It's like a vanilla, but you almost get like an like a cooling note to it. Not peppermint, but it's like when you smell it, it almost gives you like a cool vibe. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. But I love this. And if I could find some more, I would definitely pick more of those up. And it was good and strong. I did it in the bedroom. I'd say a good 7 out of 10. And I usually get about 12 or 13 hours from the milk cups. You know, like a strong scent that you can still smell pretty good. Okay, I did one scoopable tart wax. Uh, this company is no longer because she retired. And the owner of scoopable tart wax is the mother of Jenny, who is the owner of Rose Girls. So they share, they share a lot of the same oils. So if you love a lot of the scents from scoopable tart wax, you may be able to still find them with Rose Girls. And I do love scoopable tart wax. I have several. And normally they're like super strong and a little goes a long way. Uh, this one though was kind of light. I barely smell anything. Um, and if I did, it was like maybe just a hint of a vanilla or maybe a hint of coconut from that Gilligan's brew. But this one was not very strong. And it's like I said, totally not like normally like scoopable tart wax because they're usually really strong. So maybe this is just one of those scents that's naturally on the lighter side. But I did use it and I just, you know, used it to blend with other things. And so I did use it up. But yeah, the other scoopable tart wax that I have is like blow you out of the house strong. So no complaints. Okay, let's do some scent shots. Um, this was just like a freebie in a, in a D-stash. And it's from Candles by Victoria. And I think her scent shots are paraffin. This one is in Cranberry Brulee, and it was just okay. I like cranberry scents, but I prefer them to be kind of like tart, like a tart cranberry and a bakery scent is like heaven to me. <laughs> this one was more of like a, a candy cranberry. So yeah, and I mean, the throw was about a six or a seven, so it was just okay. <clears throat> the next scent shot is from, this is from Sugar and Spice. And this is in Cookie Butter Crack. These melts are so strong. I did half at a time, and I probably could have done them in thirds. Super strong, lovely scent. This was like a nice, heavy, bakery, buttery cookie scent. And it was super strong, like 8, 9 out of 10 in my living room. And she's not currently open at the moment, but when she does open in the future, I would definitely like to purchase from her. I got these in a D-stash. But I would definitely order from her. This is really nice. Really nice scent and super strong. 
Okay, also from Sugar and Spice, I did this one in pear. And this was nice. It was sort of somewhere in between a fresh pear and a baked pear. But what I really appreciate is that there was no perfumey notes in this. Sometimes blackberry and pear can have a perfume note to it that I don't care for. This one was just pure fruit bakery goodness. And again, super strong. Really love this. And I would definitely repurchase that. Okay, then I did one scent shot in Hayden Rose Bookstore. And the scent notes are like, I think it's supposed to smell like kind of like old books. And there's a slightly smoky note in this. I definitely get like that book smell. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you have any like old books in your library, this smells like that. And I get like a slight smoke note, but also I get like a really nice, like clean, I want to say cologne, but it's not like um, Abercrombie Fitch cologne, not like that. Uh, if you guys have ever smelled, I think it's a cologne, men's cologne called Lagerfeld. Uh, this smells a lot like that to me. It's like just a soft, clean men's cologne, like fresh scent. And like I said, I definitely get that book scent and a hint of smoke. This is so good. Yeah, it's so strong even in the um, scent shot, even though it's empty. And I did it in thirds. Her wax, Hayden Rose wax is super strong. I can do these scent shots in thirds and get, you know, a good eight, sometimes a nine out of 10 throw in my living room. So I love Hayden Rose and highly recommend them. And I would definitely repurchase um, bookstore. And I have like three or four backups of that. Okay, this next one is absolutely amazing. Destination Wax Pretzel Blueberry. This is so good. Uh, Danny from Danny XO 21 described this perfectly. She said it is smells like a yummy blueberry ego waffle, and it does. This is what I wish Bath and Body Works um, berry waffle cone was. This is what this should be. It smells so good, and I definitely need more of that. So good, and it lasts a really long time in the warmer, and like I said, good eight out of ten throw. Okay, I did some That Smell Good shop, and this is Principal's Office, which is like a, kind of like a coconut caramel coffee type scent. It was really great, nice and strong. That Smell Good shop is always nice and strong for me. Um, lasted a good long time in my warmer. I would definitely repurchase that. I love That Smell Good shop. Okay, this next one was a sample from Sassy Girl Aroma, and... Hopefully this will focus. This was really nice. Doesn't want to seem to focus. But it is the Santal 26 Lalabo New York type. So I don't know if that's a candle or a perfume. I've heard of Lalabo, but they do both. All I can tell you is this smells so good. It's, gosh, that smells so good. It smells actually very similar to the bookstore from Hayden Row. It has that same like fresh clean men's cologne scent to it and maybe like a hotel linen type scent to it it's so good it's like a fresh clean scent and i love that and i would definitely repurchase that in a chunk bag i would and then lastly i just did a few soaps this is my favorite favorite soap from bath and body works this is the gentle foaming hand soap in vanilla cone boardwalk vanilla cone this is the best truest vanilla scent ever. I love this soap and I will always buy these as long as I can find them. Highly recommend that one. It's so good. And then a pretty close runner up is Mary Cookie from Bath and Body Works. And this smells very similar to the candle, a nice sugar cookie scent. And I did enjoy that, but I still like the uh, Boardwalk Vanilla Cone better. <laughs> that was my all time favorite. And then lastly, I did the Purely Clean Coconut Eucalyptus. I didn't really get coconut, but I definitely got a eucalyptus and a nice fresh crisp eucalyptus scent. I really loved this and I would definitely repurchase this soap from Bath and Body Works. I enjoyed that. So that's it, that is my empties for January and February. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, thank you for all the encouraging words and just for being so great. I love the wax community. And 
yeah, just thank you. And I will see you guys on my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.